Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about radical equations, and we're going to solve each equation and remember to check for extraneous solutions. So, if I was given this equation, x equals the square root of 8x. Well, my first start, uh, step here is I need to square both sides to get rid of that radical, but so I square both sides here, and I'm left with x squared equals 8x. From there, I'm going to subtract an 8x of both sides, leaving me with x squared minus 8x equals 0. Remember, that's subtracting over. A lot of people just want to divide it. No, subtract that 8x over. So if x, 8, uh, x squared minus 8x equals 0, now I need to factor that. And this one's actually pretty easy. All I have to do is pull out an x. So I have x times x minus 8 equals 0. Now I set both parts equal to 0, so I have x equals 0 and a positive 8. So those are my two solutions here. I need to see if both of them, one of them, or none of them, are extraneous. So I'm going to plug them back into my original equation. We'll start with 0. So x equals 0. So we have our original equation, x equals the square root of 8x. And let's see if this is true. Let's plug 0 in. 0 times the square root of 8 times 0. 8 times 0 is just 0. Square root of 0. Got to put an equal sign in between them. Equals 0. 0 does equal 0. That's true. Fantastic. 0 is a true solution. Let's try the other one. x equals 8. Let's see if it's extraneous. So, I'm going to take my original equation, x equals square root of 8 times x. Let's plug it in, right? Plug it in here. So, 8 for x. Square root of 8 times 8. Well, 8 times 8 is 64. Fantastic. Square root of 64 is 8, right? So my left and right are equal, right? They are equal. So what that means is both of these were true solutions. Neither one was extraneous. That could happen. So we have x equals 0 and a positive 8, and those are my two solutions here. So let's recap. We were given x equals the square root of 8x, and we squared both sides to get rid of the radical. Then I subtracted 8x and brought it to the left, and left with x squared minus 8x equals 0. Then I factored that to get x times x minus 8. And then I knew that from there, uh, setting each one equal to 0, my two solutions are x equals 0 and x equals 8. I checked both of them. The first one, when I checked it, I ended up getting 0 equal to 0. I simplified it. Okay? And I knew from there, okay, both left and right are equal. Great, 0 is a real solution. Let's go try the other one. Well, when I simplified that, the same thing happened. I got the square root of 64, and square root of 64 is 8, and so the left-hand side and the right-hand side were both equal to 8. All right, so x does equal. That's a true solution as well. So in this case, there were no extraneous solutions, but two real true solutions, and they are x equals 0 and x equals 